I have uh, uh, this easel, so I'll reuse this. That should be done. Yep. Multiple colors will work. Uh, so my name is Brian Drummond. I'm, uh, I guess you could say, the principal agile coach at LinkedIn. Uh, I have a team of five that uh, uh, works around the company. And uh, one thing that we do is we, uh, thanks, um, is we work with the leadership uh, so that they can articulate what they need to, uh, they need to tell people uh, so that we can build it. So we have, we have about uh, 2,000 engineers at LinkedIn. I have a total population of about uh, 3,800. So that's very engineering heavy. Uh, and uh, so um, I get uh, called on to conversations about how can we best uh, have people understand that the work that they do. And we have a very flat organization compared to, say, uh, some other types of companies, so that there's, uh, uh, there isn't as uh, uh, big a distance between the individual contributors, say the software engineer, and those at the top of the company. But still, there is, uh, there is a challenge in interpreting what we need to do. So I came up with this, uh, I guess you'd call it a, a, a value framework so that we can all talk about this. Um, so let me ask you is, um, if you had three words to describe a valuation framework, and those three words were impact, output, and outcome, how would you arrange those? Because they're related to each other. Okay, so we have, uh, we talk about we want to achieve some outcomes. Um, now the way I characterize it is that these are capabilities that we are able to do. So for example, I was talking to one of my uh, technical teams about doing better logging. They want to be able to debug on the server side some issue that they have. So um, like any web company, um, like Google or Yahoo, for example, we have servers and they serve pages and, and oftentimes things happen and we want to trace through them. So uh, right now we, we have uh, lots of output um, from these logs. But uh, the outcome that we want to do is to be able to debug these logs and debug them quickly. So the outcome is that we want to be able to quickly debug a log so that we can solve a problem. So uh, I'll draw a, uh, uh, an arc here and say that we have these, these outputs that lend us to a particular outcome. Well, we don't want to stop there because uh, we want to understand what the, the value of the outcome is. And so we add the impact of whatever that outcome is. Okay. This is really what we care about, right? It's not, it's not the activity uh, so much. It's really what is the value derived from these outcomes, okay? Um, so there are other things that uh, we can use this for. This is, this is fairly useful because when we talk about our story writing, for example, I work a lot with our product managers and try to turn them into product owners. I also fill in as a technical product owner for many times. And there's, there's often a uh, uh, non-clarity about exactly you know, what we call the work that we do. Uh, a lot of times engineers, especially those that come out of school, are very focused on outputs, right? So uh, we're trained that way from school. As we, we have these pre-described uh, lesson plans, the teachers know what they are, and uh, then we assign grades on how well you achieve the output that, that we expect. And so we are trained by this. Um, so, uh, but uh, these students, uh, so we hired many of these at LinkedIn, and when we bring them into our professional environment, they're very confused. Uh, because the, uh, the outcomes are not clear there. It's not a college, it's not an uh, education framework. Right? So they're, they're expected to come up with their own outcomes, and we don't tell them that. Um, 
the other thing I want to show here is that this is very useful because if we draw some lines here, like this, for example, we may have similar outputs, I mean, uh, different outputs, uh, to get the same outcome, right? Okay, so I'll call this output 2 and this output 1. Where have we seen this before? So you should recognize this as the difference between a build and a buy to achieve the same outcome. So we want to be able to think this way. In fact, we want to be able to add other types of outputs over here that can achieve the same outcome. This is how we leverage our decision-making capability. If we're able to think this way, then uh, we can achieve the same outcome but evaluate the uh, cost down here. Now, one thing that I do is I talk about risk with my teams. So, for example, one, one particular way of doing something, think about code. Code is an output. By itself, it doesn't really do anything. It's when it's used in some sort of activity to achieve some sort of impact, like sell product on our website. Uh, but we may choose quick and dirty just to get something out there. Now, there's an associated risk with quick and dirty, right? Usually technical debt. Um, we may want to do the, this will stand the test of time, which I've been on a lot of teams, they overbuild. Um, and then there might be something in the middle, which is, yeah, we're going to take uh, a shorter path here, but we were able to uh, make some trade-offs. So we segment our decision-making framework like this, and we're able to have these discussions uh, much more easily. Now, obviously, you can do the same thing up here, which is, you can have other types of outcome to achieve the same impact. So um, this really is a kind of a lightning strike talk, which is to give you this sort of thought meme. Um, we found this extremely useful inside of LinkedIn about how we actually describe the work that we do. And it turns out that uh, uh, story uh, description <coughs> falls into this very well because the if you know that stories are very rigorous data structures. So uh, the, uh, you know, who, is, who cares about a particular outcome? What is the capability that they want? And why do they want to do it, which implies the impact. And then below the line, you have the acceptance criteria, which is negotiable. So we found this extremely handy for, for how we do our uh, the work. We, we find that our decision making is much faster and uh, we're, we're actually able to create higher productivity out of this. So that's it.